<coughs> Alrighty, let's do this. <coughs> Today is November the 13th. 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 November 13th. November 13th. November the 13th. Um, means we have a one week left of work before we do a company break. Company break. If you want to work during company break, you'll have to talk with Joe. But from two, so uh, Thanksgiving's on a Thursday. So we normally try to do Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is our break. And come back on Monday. Six day break. Six day break. So uh, the guys that have vacation days are welcome to use them if you want to. Um, you don't have to, but <clears throat> that's that's the next. Okay. So last week we've been going through the alphabet, and last week we hit S. S is a big one. Uh, last week we we had a specific toolbox talk <clears throat> connected to safety and all the different reasons why. Uh, safety is, you know, one of our number one priorities for multiple reasons, but uh, we kind of went over all those things on our last talk. And you guys actually signed a form that goes into your file saying that you're going to seek to do your best to adhere to those safety policies as much as possible. And that we're going to try to supply everybody what they need. So, other S words. Besides safety, and safety is like one of those things that is not always fun, but it's for life. So, other S words that <clears throat> kind of apply to like do a quick review over. Um, besides safety, is security. Um, Shit talk. Uh, you got. Um, Didn't we do it? Yeah, we did. Has safety, safety. Oh, okay. yeah. So, other ones. What's other good S words? Um, security. Security. Yeah. Oh, you just did that. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's talk about security. Um, <clears throat> we've talked about this a little bit in other ones, but we are kind of blessed to live and work mostly in small towns where uh, typically tools don't disappear. Typically, uh, you know, our stuff is fairly safe if we, we have it out. But there are times where we're working in areas where, you know, everything needs to stay locked at all times, everything needs to be kind of documented so you, you know for sure somebody's getting, something's getting taken. So what I would just say is securing your job site, um, involves you know just thinking ahead so typically <clears throat> you normally have certain tools that you're using once you get to the job site you said not you're there obviously you know you need quick access to them things like that uh, what tends to happen is when you take your lunch break um, that is when people know you are going on the job site you know people are kind of observing what's going on Lunch is probably one of the bigger times where there's a chance something could walk off if you're not being careful. So I strongly recommend anytime we're working on a job site where you're at all worried about uh, things disappearing, um, you make sure that you put your tools up either in the company trailer, or in the company vehicle, or you just take them with out of sight. Um, yeah, the other thing that you would do is uh, and this should happen anyway, 
you clean clean the job site at lunch to where say if a customer came up on the job site things look organized and put away you know if you're not there uh, leaving your tools just laying out it's not as professional anyway unless it's like a big chop saw or something like that but the goal is always going to be to from from the from the view or from where customers or faster buyers or thieves for that matter are seeing your job site it looks like it's organized and taken care of and that's going to kind of prohibit uh, people from taking advantage of us um, at the end of the day you know we're tired we're worn out the uh, ready to get home the instinct is to it'll be fine on certain things but uh, knowing that every single day we're cleaning our cleaning up our trash and protecting our investments from uh, from not just thieves I don't even know how you spell thieves uh, but also the weather you know and other stuff like that so just make sure when we're on job sites we're securing their stuff making sure that it's taken care of um, there are things that you can do now like you have a special tool you can get those air tags and most of our trailers and our trucks have trackers on them so like if they got stolen i could track them down but some of them I've, I've let expire, you know, because I didn't want to pay the monthly fee. So I'd have to like pay a fee to get it reinstated and then I could track it down. So I mean, technically I still could track it down. It'd just be annoying because I have to pay the fee to get it going again, you know. Um, other stuff connected to S words. Um, so our, our, Bathroom behavior. I'll just talk about how we wipe. I mean, this is an important subject right here. I know some of us don't believe in wiping. Some of us definitely need a by uh, day, the dead day, the day. day. But um, as professionals, like our job, as professionals. As professionals, profession, yeah. professionals, our job is to show our skill by doing. Okay? Um, most new guys, I'm looking at you, Ivan, and uh, not, I mean, anybody who's new in general. If they haven't shown it, they're going to be trying to like let us know what they can do or what they can't do. Um, I don't recommend it. I recommend showing by action, you know. Uh, there's several reasons why. But when we show what we can do by just doing it, um, either either you're going to like realize you don't know what you're doing, or you're, you're going to be able, you won't have to tell anybody. I mean, like, it'll be obvious because your actions are going to speak louder. Um, what we don't do is uh, talking bad about somebody else's work. Their work, we'll talk bad about them for them, okay? Their actions, we'll talk bad about them for them. So, so basically, what we're not going to do as a company is uh, seek to make somebody look bad by talking. I mean, it'll be kind of obvious. Like, we'll be able to see... Yeah, that's just bad work. Like they're not doing a good job. You know, like it's not going to be based off of you know talking bad about somebody. It's just going to be based off of what they did. Okay. Um, when we're talking about somebody who has a weakness, uh, or I don't know if you're going to say if it's a weakness or they have like some failures failures in certain areas as professionals like our job is to 
you know, go to our foreman, whoever our foreman is, say, hey, look, we've noticed this. This is a potential issue. Um, you know, what should we do about it? Okay. We don't just go right up to like a coworker and kind of be like, hey, look, you're doing this wrong. You know, you're a liability. Nobody likes you on the crew, you know, that kind of thing. That That's like high school stuff and it's not necessary. It's not professional. Um, there's plenty of people I've worked with for a long time that I did not like, and it's fine. I mean, you don't have to like everybody, you know. Their job is to work, your job is to work. Uh, we're not a social club. If we were a social club, then we'd only have people that we like working with us, you know. That's how um, you it is nice to have people that you enjoy working with, but it's a job, you know, it's, we're not a club here. So as, as a job, uh, if you see somebody that's shit talking somebody else, typically, in my opinion, that's a little bit of a sign of insecurity in the person who's talking bad about somebody else, you know? Now, if they're talking about the work, there's thoughts for that at times. Like if the work is legit not good, then sometimes it needs to be like, hey, look, you shouldn't be doing that. I mean, you did a bad job, you know? That's not shit talking. Shit talking is when you're kind of trying to make somebody look bad for the sake of them looking bad. And it's not based on facts, it's not based on correct information at times. Um, so just be careful. Our goal is to be professional. Being professional is corrective actions go through a certain chain of command, okay? Um, what we don't do is, so like somebody does something bad, so there's bad here, <coughs> and then we then seek to avoid it. We don't want to work with this guy for this reason, so this guy does something bad, so let's see, guy one does something bad, so guys two and three just don't want to work with this guy. And I mean, it can go like, oh, come on. Like, and then you have to tell him to his face, obviously, because that's going to be like weird. But, you know, if, if you're going to me and being like, I don't want to work with him, you know, he's, he's not fun to work with. And I'm not saying this is happening, I'm just saying in general, it's part of being careful. Um, our, like what should happen instead of instead of this they like I don't want to work with him you know he's trash whatever then it should be hey we've noticed these three things you know like this guy isn't communicating he's on his phone all the time he gets to work late leaves early you know like there's these four things are concerned to us as far as being efficient you know, and then that gives me a legitimate reason to like look into the matter, kind of see what's going on, and take corrective action as needed. But it's not going to be based off of a vibe, because I mean, some people are just annoyed. I mean, Ben, half everybody is either scared of Ben or annoyed by him, and it's been that way his whole life. You know, like we're just used to it. But like everybody knows he's a good worker, so there's not a legitimate reason other than some people don't vibe with him as easy. <laughs> for me to like do anything about it, you know what I'm saying? So just be careful when when you're dealing with somebody who, uh, so the other, you know, the other, like when you're shooting the shit or whatever, when you're having a good time and like the social club side of things, be careful that that doesn't bleed into the other side to where you're kind of talking bad about somebody without a legit reason um, and being aware of that. Same with customers. Our job is to try to be as professional as we can be. Um, my motto in general is, if I wouldn't say it to their face, I'm not gonna say it, you know? Um, Cause I feel like it's so important to not have a double standard. Um, and I wanna be able to be honest and be truthful as, as much as possible when it comes to talking to other people. So review, make sure our stuff is secure daily. Uh, lunchtime is a dangerous time. At the end of the day is an important time to make sure our stuff's put away. Uh, our goal is to be professional. Snacks. What? It says snacks since we're going over that. Snacks. Oh, actually, it's actually, it's actually it's not <laughs> Okay, snacks. Your job is to be professional. Part of being professional 
is nutrition. I mean, it's part of like eating correctly. I'm fairly grumpy if I haven't eaten in a long time. And it can affect my perception of other people's inadequacies, to say that mildly. So like I can, like I get a magnifying glass over my eyes seeing everybody's issues if I'm hungry, if you're hungry. hungry. It's like, yeah. just the time you and I mean, and I'm more abrupt, and I'm more, I mean, I know, I mean, like, you know, and everybody's got their, everybody's got their, like, certain things. Snacks or something, though. He turns into me when he's hungry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so may, maybe uh, as far as snacks goes, um, on two different levels. We talked about it on our budget one. Uh, I talked about this the other day with Ivan. You know, if you're buying five dollars for breakfast at a gas station, you know, twelve bucks at lunch, four dollars in the afternoon with an energy drink, you're twenty-five bucks a day, whatever it is, you know, that adds up pretty quick. So you better be making some good money, you know. Um, but like, what I typically try to do is mid-morning mid-morning or depending on when I have my breakfast, I'm getting some sort of protein, you know, some sort of something to kind of like keep me through till lunch and then mid-afternoon I'm normally doing something. Uh, if you have smoke breaks when you're doing your thing, I mean, it's not a bad idea to, like, especially if you know you have a hard day coming up to like prepare a little bit more. Um, I would, does anybody have snacks, stuff to talk about? No, just <laughs> to randomly put the word out there. Get your wallet. You were Get talking about wallet. lunch for some reason. Yeah. So I just said snacks. You're making me hungry. Okay. Anyway, that's pretty much it. I know it's kind of boring, but I'm trying to finish up the alphabet here. And then as soon as the alphabet's finished, we're going to go into. Yeah, that's the